I think that hair and the way that hair is styled is such an important piece of fashion and it's often overlooked. So today I wanted to share with you some super easy and quick, both long and short hair friendly hairstyles that are both artsy and hippie inspired. This first look is one of my main go-tos, especially when I'm having a bit of a bad hair day. So I just start by sectioning my hair right in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna just tie this part off quickly. So then with this side, which I'm working with first, I'm going to use just a clear elastic. Typically I use a full elastic because my hair's thicker, but I find that the clear elastic allows for more give and volume. I'm going to pull my hair into a pigtail here. And then when I go to pull my hair through for the last time, I'm just going to go halfway and then leave it just like this, creating a little loop which I will then kind of play with and tug on some of the ends until it gets the poofiness I want. And if your hair is on the longer side, then you might have to actually wrap or bunch it up into a bun because just this loop is gonna be pretty long still. But with my hair, it makes this perfect little poof. So I'm gonna do it on the other side. And then again, last time I pull the hair through, I'm just gonna go halfway, stop, and then sort of fiddle with it until I get to the point I want. And there you go, super simple, so cute, and perfect for those like lazy hair days. You can also pull out some of these extra pieces of hair here and turn it into a little braid to help frame your face a bit more. Which typically when I do this, I'll sort of plan ahead and leave some of this hair out of my hairstyle because pulling the hair back out, as you can see, kind of like messed it up a bit. Perfect! And it just adds a little bit more character and like artsiness to the look. Often when I feel like I need an extra accessory for my outfit, I will end up making bedazzled braids for my hair. Here are some of my favorite ways to bedazzle some braids. I'm just gonna start with a pretty small braid on one side of my head. Just the braid alone already adds some nice texture to the hair, but I wanna add a couple beads to this braid. I'm going to put some of these white and some of these multicolor pearls into this braid. And all I do is I pick up the bead I want, which I'm gonna start with this white pearl, and then I take one of these little hair elastics and I kind of pinch it and thread it through like it's a piece of string until you can see the elastic on either side of the bead like so and then I fold it over and I secure this onto my hair with the bead facing out like so. Or if you don't want beads all the way along your braid, you can just add one to the bottom to sort of hide the elastic. This adds a really nice touch to your hair. You can do as many or as few as you want and you can color match the beads to your outfit to really make it an awesome accessory. Another fun way to spruce up some braids is by braiding string or yarn into your hair. I'm going to use this like fluffy pink yarn to add some texture. I'm going to start by picking which section of hair I want to braid. And if I'm doing a braid where I have to tie something into my hair, I will typically work with a section on a lower layer. That way the top layer of my hair can hide where I sort of tied in the yarn. So I'm going to move this top section out of the way and just clip it to the back. Then I'm going to be using this section of hair as my braid, and I'm gonna kind of move everything else out of the way. Now I have my cut piece of yarn, which folded over is still a little bit longer than my actual hair. We're gonna take this and slide it underneath that section of hair as close to my scalp as possible. Tie a simple crisscross knot like you're tying a shoelace to keep the yarn in place at the top of the hair. Now I'm going to section my hair to braid and these two pieces of yarn is going to be one section. And then the rest of the hair I'm going to split into two sections. I'm going to braid like normal, treating this yarn like a section of hair. And see, this is why I typically do this on a lower layer of my hair just because this top part of the braid can get pretty messy. Okay, once I reach the end of my braid, I'm just going to secure it. And if you want to, you can leave this extra yarn as like a little fun extension, but I'm just gonna cut it to match my hair length. And there you have it. It's a little fun pop of color, a little extra texture to the hair. And you can do the same thing with strings and ribbons and other textures of yarn. The options are honestly endless here. I want to show you another way you can use the yarn. So I already sectioned off the top layer of my hair and now I'm just doing a simple braid here in one of the lower layers. Now that we have a full secured braid, I'm gonna take a bit of yarn. I'm going to fold it in half and again, hold it right to my scalp and then cut it about, I don't know, a couple inches below my hair, better safe than sorry. And then once I have this thread, I'm going to again get it as close to my scalp as possible and tie a crisscross knot right at the top of this braid. So once I have that secured, I'm gonna kind of wrap this yarn around in a crisscross motion. So 
going from back to front and crossing over the yarn each time to create these X's over the braid. And if you want to while you're doing this, you can thread some beads onto the yarn. Once I reach the very bottom, I'm gonna do another crisscross knot. I'm not sure what those are actually called, but and then I'm going to do just a simple shoelace type bow right at the bottom. I'm gonna kind of trim off any of these extra yarn tails. And there is the finished braid. It's kind of crazy right now. We got a lot of braids going on, but this one is really cute and adds a great extra pop of color and bit of texture to the overall look. The yarn is completely out of my hair now, but I put a couple simple braids back in because I wanted to show you some of my homemade hair jewelry corkscrews. These look just awesome in your hair and they are so easy to make all you need is a bit of wire and a pliers i'm starting by taking out a piece of wire which i'm using a 20 gauge and i do think that could be a little bit too soft but that's what i have on hand and i'm using this round needle nose pliers and i'm going to start by making a little spiral twisting it into like an eye hook and then i just continue along making it into a spiral and you can make this as tight or as loose of a coil as you want so now that i have the spiral as big as i want it i'm going to use just a simple number two pencil but really any tool that's about as thick as the braid you're planning on making is going to work i just hold the spiral right to the top of my pencil and then i just wrap this wire around the pencil and you do want to keep a little bit of space between each coil of metal because you're going to have to slip your braid through each slot to get this to fit onto the braid now now that I have it as long as I'd like, I'm going to cut off the wire and I'm going to leave a pretty long tail because I want to add another spiral to the bottom. I'm going to take my pliers and start that first bit of the spiral. I ended up doing a pretty big like statement spiral here at the bottom, but you can really play around with different shapes and spirals of the metal. You can also play around with adding beads. So keeping the bead right towards the top of the metal, I'm going to twist this around and create a loop that secures the bead inside. Here I have the top of the corkscrew and then once again, I'm just going to secure it to the pencil and begin wrapping. I'm going to be adding another bead down at the bottom, leaving a little bit of a tail here. And now to sort of trap the beads in place, I'm going to cut the wire with just a little extra room and then fold this excess wire up towards the beads. You can also add little seed beads along the wiring of the corkscrew or using additional pieces like a jump ring to make a little tail of beads dangling off the bottom. But here are two just very, very simple designs. I believe you can find some of these on Etsy if you wanted to purchase from a small business instead. I'm just going to take this braid here and I set it right in the top part of the corkscrew and sort of twist the braid in. Until the braid is now entirely encapsulated by the wire, it is a little bit loose, it slides around a bit, so I'm just going to very, very lightly pinch it until it snugly sets onto the braid. Not so much that it loses its shape, but just enough that it won't slide around. And if it does happen to lose its shape, you can just wrap the metal right around the pencil again to get those tight coils. Okay, I'm gonna add the other ones. If you're having a hard time twisting the braid in or if it keeps getting stuck, that probably means the braid is too big and it needs to be about the width of a number two pencil, maybe even even a little bit less. And again, just pinching it until it stays where I want it. How adorable is that? My next hairstyle is perfect if you want to add like a little pop into your hair. I actually haven't done this look in a while, so we'll see how this goes, but it's one of my favorites. I'm starting by kind of sectioning like a half up, half down amount of hair, leaving the framing pieces in the front and maybe some extra if you want to do little braids. I'm going to split this right in the center and I'm going to just section one side off. Now on this side, I'm gonna take an elastic and start securing it into a little pigtail. And again, last time I pull the hair through, I'm gonna let it kind of poof up a little bit. Now we're gonna do the other side and you can really control how poofy or loose you want them to be. This is probably more of like a short hair hairstyle, but you could do it with long hair as well. This is an absolutely adorable hairstyle. It's one of my all time favorites. If you wanted to, you could also tie a little ribbon or some yarn right at the base of each of these poofs. I don't know what to call them. Are they buns? Are they loops? Are they poofs? I don't know, but they're adorable. Or if you really want your hair out of your face, then you can do the same thing. But instead of a half up, half down, do all of your hair up. Oh no, I kind of messed this one up. Oh well, it is so cute. 
wanted to show you one more piece of homemade hair jewelry. This one is so, so easy to use. It's really cute. It's really easy to make. You just need some beads, some wire, and some pliers. I'm going to use this collection of beads from a thrifted necklace that was falling apart. And we're basically going to create just a chain of beads all connecting together. So I'm going to start by using my round pliers and just creating a little loop at the end of this wire. Really pinching it shut to make sure it's secure. So I'm going to slide my bead right onto the wire. And I definitely overestimate here, so I'm just going to cut off any of the excess. Using the round pliers, I'm going to create a loop on this end. And there we have our first bead. So now I'm just going to continue to do this with all of the beads I want in my chain. Before I fully close the wire on this string of beads, I'm going to slip it through this bead and connect the two, and then secure the wire closed. Here's the start of our little chain, and then I'm just going to keep on going until the chain is the length that I want. The nice thing about this is that you can really easily add or remove beads depending on what length your hair is so like as I grow out my hair I can always add more beads or if I decide to do a sudden chop again I can then just take a bunch of beads off. So now to attach this to your hair you can either leave this as a loop at the top or you can add a jump ring and you can string your hair through that or use a bobby pin but I'm actually going to use this clasp that came with the repurposed necklace. I'm going to open up this part of the wire here and just string it through then just pinch it closed. You can clip this into braids, into ponytails, into updos. I wish I had the time to show you everything you can do with this because the options are honestly endless. But let me just quickly put it into my hair now while it's down. I'm just gonna take another little elastic, which I never realized how many of these I used until I made this video. Again, I'm kind of pulling the top layer of my hair back. Just right here, I'm going to put a little hair elastic in. I'm not gonna braid it or anything. This is just gonna act as a little lock to keep this piece in place. And I'm just gonna clip it right into the hair above the elastic just like so and then it just stays put and it looks stunning I have one last hairstyle that I would like to share with you and it's another very simple one I'm gonna start by doing a pretty big braid compared to the earlier one so I'm gonna take this whole section of hair here and put it into a braid and as I am braiding this I am pulling my hands and like the pressure on my hair towards the back of my head because I'm going to be moving this braid towards the back of my head later and I don't want it to cause a bunch of loops and bumps because if you braid straight down and then move it to the back all of this hair here will kind of bump up and ripple and look weird so I make sure I'm putting the pressure towards the back of my head as I'm creating the braid and now I'm going to do the same thing on this side and again pulling it towards the back of my head as I braid and then I'm going to pull pull both of the braids behind my head so that they are meeting here in the middle and then I'm going to secure that with a hair elastic like so. Now you can once again leave this here because it is really cute on its own or before you tie the braids together you could add beads or ribbon to the braids or you could do what I'm about to do. I have some little fake flower cuttings. You can find these at craft stores, Walmart, or honestly, you can thrift them pretty easily. And I'm just gonna take these and poke them into the braids to make a bit of a flower crown. You can also do this with real flowers. Of course, that won't last as long, but it's really cute. My hair is pretty thick, so it just holds the flowers in place once I press them into the braid. But if you have finer hair, then you can just take the tops of these and glue them onto bobby pins. That way you can actually pin it into your hair and it should stay then. I'm gonna do one last pink one right here. This look is so, so perfect for summer and it has that hippie colorfulness just written all over it. It is such a fun way to spruce up any outfit and I really think I did save the best for last in this video. Let me know which hairstyle was your favorite and which one you are most excited to try for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. I really appreciate your support. Please consider subscribing and liking this video. Thank you in advance and I will see you again in a few days for another crafty, fashion-filled, fun video.